There is a very special joie de vivre, love of life, that you see and experience with the people here in Fort Kent. It's a wonderful place because of the energy of the people and the can-do attitude of the people and the beautiful seasons. The pace is slower here, the area is very safe, and as my children often remind me, they're very happy to have grown up here. Fort Kent has been a place that I've always called home. And when my husband had first come up here for the first time, he said this was the first moment that he knew what the word home meant because of how he felt when he came here. I don't think community is a strong enough word to describe Fort Kent. I really feel like it's a family. It's just a great place to grow up. I've had an opportunity to live in many different places. And uh, one of the things that is most unique here is the way that the community comes together. The people are what make Fort Kent. They are always friendly and very helpful, and it's like being part of a big family here. I would say people up here are looking out for each other. It's not just that we're, they're, they're friendly, they'll, they'll wave to you or something like that, but people are genuinely interested in making sure that everybody in the community is doing well. Acadian culture is uh, warm, welcoming, and uh, that's kind of what makes the area special. Fort Kent's a community that provides so much opportunity for us. There's not too many places that you can go to where you can ski, you can golf, you can uh, go to a, another country within two minutes. For people who are active in the outdoors, this is your mecca. This is the paradise for you. The winters are awesome here in Fort Kent. There's lots to do if you find yourself adventurous, um, whether you do skiing or snowmobiling. The Can-Am dog sled races, there's plenty to find to do in the winter months. Go out skiing all day or snowmobiling all day and then you go to one of the local bars and have some time to relax and warm up by the fire. Snowmobiling is a big part of our winter industry, but all these snowmobile trails are converted to ATV trails in the summer, so there's hundreds you know, if not thousands of miles here in northern Maine. It's a lot of fun. Summers in Fort Kent are amazing. There's so many resources and lakes and rivers all around us. Opportunities to go hiking, to go boating, to go fishing. Um, there's just a, a nature's wonderland in our backyard and we're very lucky to have that. My favorite season is actually the fall season just because of the, the colors and how things change so drastically from the beautiful summer to the white winter. It's just very vibrant and beautiful. There's a lot to do. The food of that time of the year is a lot of fun to eat as well. The colors up here during that time of the year are just magnificent. And I had somebody describe it to me the other day saying it was like a kaleidoscope of colors and it truly is. It's just beautiful. Uh, cherish it while you're a part of it. That's really what it's all about. Fort Kent is a very special place. Great place to grow up, great place to raise a family, great place to run a business. It's everything that you would want.
There is a very special joie de vivre, love of life, that you see and experience with the people here in Fort Kent. It's a wonderful place because of the energy of the people and the can-do attitude of the people and the beautiful seasons. The pace is slower here, the area is very safe, and as my children often remind me, they're very happy to have grown up here. Fort Kent has been a place that I've always called home. And when my husband had first come up here for the first time, he said this was the first moment that he knew what the word home meant because of how he felt when he came here. I don't think community is a strong enough word to describe Fort Kent. I really feel like it's a family. It's just a great place to grow up. I've had an opportunity to live in many different places. And uh, one of the things that is most unique here is the way that the community comes together. The people are what make Fort Kent they are always friendly and very helpful, and it's like being part of a big family here. I would say people up here are looking out for each other. It's not just that we're, they're, they're friendly, they'll, they'll wave to you or something like that, but people are genuinely interested in making sure that everybody in the community is doing well. Acadian culture is uh, warm, welcoming, and uh, that's kind of what makes the area special. Fort Kent's a community that provides so much opportunity for us. There's not too many places that you can go to where you can ski, you can golf, you can uh, go to a, another country within two minutes. For people who are active in the outdoors, this is your mecca. This is the paradise for you. The winters are awesome here in Fort Kent. There's lots to do if you find yourself adventurous, um, whether you do skiing or snowmobiling, the Can-Am dog sled races, there's plenty to find to do in the winter months. Go out skiing all day or snowmobiling all day and then you go to one of the local bars and have some time to relax and warm up by the fire. Snowmobiling is a big part of the winter industry, but all these snowmobile trails are converted to ATV trails in the summer, so there's hundreds, you know, if not thousands of miles here in northern Maine. It's a lot of fun. Summers in Fort Kent are amazing. There's so many resources and lakes and rivers all around us. Opportunities to go hiking, to go boating, to go fishing. Um, there's just a, a nature's wonderland in our backyard and we're very lucky to have that. My favorite season is actually the fall season just because of the, the colors and how things change so drastically from the beautiful summer to the white winter. It's just very vibrant and beautiful. There's a lot to do. The food of that time of the year is a lot of fun to eat as well. The colors up here during that time of the year are just magnificent. And I had somebody describe it to me the other day saying it was like a kaleidoscope of colors and it truly is. It's just beautiful. Uh, cherish it while you're a part of it. That's really what it's all about. Fort Kent is a very special place. Great place to grow up, great place to raise a family, great place to run a business. It's everything that you would want.
Good evening. Welcome to the Greater Forkent Area Chamber of Commerce's 73rd Annual Meeting. My name is Connie Willett. On behalf of the Greater Forkent Area Chamber of Commerce, I offer each of you, each and every one of you, a warm welcome to our very first virtual annual meeting. Tonight, we celebrate another successful year of service by your Chamber of Commerce to the communities of the Upper St. John Valley. While we were unable to host many of our normal events, we continue to support our members through these difficult times. Thank you for your continued support. At this time, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge our frontline and essential workers and businesses. While the COVID-19 pandemic has upended life for nearly everyone, We've all had different experiences over the last 10 months as we've tried to get used to the new normal. Some people are experiencing great hardships, like layoffs from work or the loss of a loved one. Others are working from home, taking care of their children or both. This pandemic changed the world instantly. And now that we have a vaccine, we can only hope our lives will someday be back to normal. We owe so much gratitude to so many people, especially healthcare workers, first responders, and essential workers who have faced more risks than most. As millions of Americans are quarantined at home during the coronavirus outbreak, many frontline and essential workers continue to go into work each day, putting themselves at risk. This pandemic has affected everyone from employers to employees, to seniors, mothers, fathers, friends, neighbors, and children. It's been a challenge, but so many people have stepped up to help others in need. We wish everyone well as we get through this pandemic together. There is light on the other side, and we will continue to hope that this will be over soon. So once again, we can gather and enjoy each other's company. In the meantime, 
Thank you for all you do and continue to stay safe. At this time, I would like to introduce a few of our distinguished guests this evening. Our 2020 Board of Directors, Darnell Oliver, President, Don Daigle, First Vice President, Courtney Depre, Second Vice President, Connie Willette, Treasurer, Jill Carnes, Stephen Chabot, Denise Corvo, Don Daigle, Tammy Delisle, Denise Plord, Kate Roy, Mackenzie Roy, Michelle Roy, Nikki Shields, Carrie Wizin, and Donna Sosie, our Executive Director. We would also like to recognize individuals who have had significant impact on the evolution of the Chamber of Commerce, our past presidents of the Chamber. It is also our pleasure to acknowledge another group of distinguished men and women, our past Fort Kent Citizens of the Year. Next up, I would like to introduce Susie Parody, Town Manager of Fort Kent, to introduce our guest speaker this evening. It is with great honor that I introduce tonight's annual guest speaker, Senator Susan Collins. Senator Collins was born and raised in Caribou, Maine, where her family runs a sixth generation lumber business. She is married to Thomas A. Daffron and resides in Bangor, Maine. She was first elected in 1996 and has earned a national reputation as an effective legislator who works across party lines to seek consensus on our nation's most important issues. For the past seven consecutive years, Senator Collins has ranked as the most bipartisan member of the U.S. Senate by the Luger Center and Georgetown University. Senator Collins ranks 11th in the Senate Senate seniority and is the most senior Republican woman. She serves as the ranking member of the Transportation, Housing and Urban Development Appropriations Subcommittee. She also serves on the Intelligence Committee as well as the Health Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee. Known for her main work ethic, Senator Collins has cast more than 7,500 consecutive votes and holds the longest perfect voting record in the history of the U.S. Senate. It is with great pleasure I introduce to you Senator Susan Collins. Good evening, bonsoir. Let me start by thanking your outgoing president, Darnell Oliver, and your incoming president, Don Daigle, for their commitment to keeping the Fort Kent region moving forward. The spirit of the Upper St. John Valley and its hardworking and caring people is a good model for the new Congress and the new president. We have a special obligation to work together to restore the faith of our citizens in our government. First and foremost is the challenge of COVID, which continues to devastate the health of far too many of our citizens, as well as our economy. It unfortunately has now hit Northern Maine. Late last year, I co-led a bipartisan bicameral group that developed the framework for the new COVID-19 relief package that will help American families, our healthcare system, small businesses, employees, schools, and the Postal Service during this ongoing crisis. That bill includes an extension and expansion of the Paycheck Protection Program I co-authored. This program to date has pumped nearly $2.3 billion into the state of Maine, helping to sustain more than 250,000 jobs and assisting three out of four small businesses. In Fort Kent alone, 80 small businesses, healthcare organizations, nonprofits, and other employers receive forgivable loans that help to sustain more than 1,300 jobs. 
The COVID bill also contains $200 million in direct support for the logging industry, a new provision that I worked with Congressman Golden and fought hard to secure. This is in addition to the substantial support already provided to our farmers, including Maine's potato growers and dairy farmers. Increased investments must also include expanding rural broadband. With more people working remotely and some children being taught remotely at home, it is clear that the disparity between urban and rural communities in high-speed internet access must be addressed. The most recent COVID relief package includes $7 billion in total broadband funding. Families who require assistance will have access to $50 per month to help pay for internet service to facilitate remote learning and work and $300 million will be made available to finally help build out high-speed networks in rural areas. The challenges facing our nation are great, but it's the can-do spirit of Fort Kent that I've always loved that our country should embrace. Thank you so much, merci, and have a great meeting. Thank you, Senator Susan Collins, for your wonderful presentation. At this time, I ask all of you to turn to page six of your annual report for the 73rd annual meeting of the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce. To conduct the meeting, I call upon 2020 Chamber President Darnell Oliver. Members of the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce, as your president, I call the 73rd annual meeting to order. Let me remind all members that this is a membership meeting. Therefore, all representatives of a member business and associate members of the chamber, along with the chamber board of directors are eligible to move an agenda item and have full voting rights. The second item before us this evening is the approval of the agenda on page six of your annual report. At this time, I will entertain a motion to accept the agenda as presented. Do I have a motion? I have a motion by Don. Do I have a second? A second by McKenzie. The approval of the agenda has been moved and seconded. I will now call for a vote. All in favor of passing the agenda, please signify by raising your hands. Okay, any opposed? Okay, the motion is carried. Item three on our agenda is approval of the, mini, uh, the meeting minutes. To present those, I call upon our executive director, Donna Sochier. I am pleased to present for consideration to the membership of the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce, the minutes of the 72nd Annual Meeting of the Chamber held at Fort Kent Knights of Columbus Hall on Friday, January 31, 2020. The minutes of said meeting can be found on page seven of your annual report. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. I would now entertain a motion to accept as presented the meeting minutes of the 72nd annual membership meeting of the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce. So moved. Got a first by Jake and second. Second by Connie. Approval of the minute, the meeting minutes has been moved and second. All in favor? Any opposed? The motion carries. The fourth item of our annual mini, uh, meeting agenda is the approval of the treasurer's report. For that, I now call upon Treasurer Connie Willett. 
On behalf of the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce, it is my distinct honour to present to the membership the 2020 financial report for your consideration. The report can be found on pages 8 through 10 of your annual report. Thank you. Thank you, Connie. At this time, I will entertain a motion to accept, as presented by Treasurer Connie Willett, the annual fiscal report for the year 2020. I have a first motion, a motion by Michelle, and second, second by Courtney. It has been moved and seconded to accept the treasury report for 2020. All in favor? Any opposed? The motion carries. The next item on our agenda is election of the 2021 nominated board of directors. For that, I call upon Fort Kent Town Manager, Ms. Susie Perry. Good evening to all. On behalf of the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce, it is my pleasure to nominate the following individuals for election to the Board of Directors. For three-year terms, beginning in February 2021, Jill Carnes, representing Acadia Federal Credit Union, this is Jill's first term. Denise Corvo, representing Corvo's Hilltop Blossoms. This is Denise's second term. Courtney Depre, representing Northern Maine Medical Center. This is Courtney's second term. Darnell Oliver, representing Jeans Electronics. This is Darnell's second term. Anne Rubbisho, representing Swamp Buck Restaurant. This is Anne's first term. Jake Rubbisho, representing Jake's Cleaning Service. This is Jake's second term. Mackenzie Roy, representing Key Bank. This is Mackenzie's second term. Michelle Roy, representing Canem Crown. This is Michelle's first term. Kate Roy, representing Varney's Insurance. This is Kate's first term. Carrie Wizin, representing Valley Motors. This is Carrie's first term. These are the candidates for election to the Board of Directors. Thank you, Susie. The proposed candidates for election to the Board of Directors has been presented. I'll entertain a motion to accept. Well, first, first by Connie and second by uh, Dee. The candidates have been moved and seconded. All in favor? Any opposed? Congratulations. Okay, Susie. Congratulations to all. It is now my pleasure to present for consideration of the membership of the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce, the proposed slate of officers for 2021. Don Daigle, President. Mackenzie Roy, First Vice President. Courtney Debray, Second Vice President. Jill Carnes, treasurer. Darnell Oliver, past president. These are the candidates for election to the executive board of the chamber. Thank you, Susie. I will now entertain a motion to accept the slate as presented. I have a first, first by Jake, a second, Second by Michelle. The slate of officers has been moved. All in favor? Okay, uh, any opposed? The motion carries. Congratulations to our new officers. The final business before us at our membership meeting this evening is adjournment. I would now entertain a motion to adjourn. 
Uh, first, first by D, second by McKenzie. All in favor? Okay, we now stand adjourned. It is incumbent upon the President of the Chamber to report to the membership on the organization's most recent year of service. It is my pleasure to present Darnell Oliver to deliver his State of the Chamber address. Well, thank you, Connie. To all of our members, friends, associates, and distinguished guests, what a pleasure it is to have served as your president of this greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce. I started this journey in 2019 with no particular destination in mind. All I would tell myself was just don't let the chamber shut down while you're president. And then we go to 2020, unprecedented. Unprecedented Darnell, that was. So there's no doubt that 2020 provided us with a number of obstacles throughout the year that made it very difficult to presume or even assume business as usual. However, I've gotten very accustomed to the resilience of this greater Fort Kent area in Northern Maine with all the snow and the cold. Oh, I digress, I'm sorry. But that's what I'm talking about, that resilience. So instead of focusing on what we cannot do, what we were told was not the norm anymore, instead, we began to focus and put our thoughts around how can we make this happen? How can we continue a some type of normalcy? So things like the spring fling, where we did the beach ball toss with the chicken dance to to welcome in our nice summer that we had. Things like the Scarecrow Festival with the business decorating and children's coloring contest. Our small business Saturday in which we invited crafters to participate within the businesses. A tree lighting with a drive through line for Santa. Hey, <laughs> now that's thinking outside the box. And, wouldn't you guess it, our annual dinner, the virtual. So, we've definitely had an unprecedented year, full of restrictions and uncertainty, yet together we remain steadfast. Unfortunately, there were some businesses that had to close their doors, but we were also blessed with the fact that a lot of our members were able to renew their membership. And we also had new members to join. <clears throat> so looking back on it, so we can only do what we do for you because of you. So thank you for all of your support. Thank you for all that you do to help our communities and our local economy and we greatly appreciate it. At this time, I will present the award given to outgoing board members with six or more years of service to the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce. This year's 2020 Director's Service Appreciation Award will be presented to Ms. Connie Ouellet for her dedication and outstanding service for the past six years toward the betterment of the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce, February 5th, 2021. I would also like to take a moment and thank board members who ended their terms this past year. Mr. Andrew Burden, Mr. Steve Shabbat, Ms. Jennifer Daigle, Mr. Lance Morin, and Mr. Mike Vazen. Thank you for your time and your service to this wonderful chamber. It is customary for the chamber president to present the president's award to an outstanding board member 
during the past year. So this award is always a little difficult for, I mean, has been difficult for me for those two years. And this year it makes it no easier. So the person that's worthy of this award has always been there for me. I look in the mirror and there he is looking right back at me. I don't know, some of you have probably guessed it by now, but the President Award goes to me. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. So it has been brought to my attention that I cannot give myself the President's Award. Fortunately for me, I do have someone else in mind. Someone who's probably way more deserving than myself. Someone who would take the ball and just roll with it. Roll, 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 and I never had to look back. Never had to ask again. Whew. It was just a wonderful feeling of having this, this person by my side and knowing that she would be president after myself. So maybe that gave it away, but this year's President Award goes to Don Daigle. So the reading for the 2020 President's Award presented to Ms. Don Daigle, an appreciation of your drive, determination, and dedication. Thank you for your generous commitment of time, support, and inspiration to this organization and which is not on there, but also to me. Thank you. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to pass the gavel to Don Daigle and welcome her as the incoming president of this great chamber. Don, I wish you great success in the upcoming year, years. Thank you, Darnell. Good evening. I am very honored to say that I will be your incoming president of the Greater Forkin Area Chamber of Commerce. I would like to start by thanking Darnell for being a great mentor this past year, always willing to listen, give ideas, and usually make me run with them, and guidance and making me feel like I've got this. To all my board members, Don Associate, our Chamber Executive Director, Susie Parody, our Town Manager and Municipal Representative, thank you for your dedication and everything you have done this past year. I will now take time to welcome all the new board members. We have a great team, which I am very much looking forward to working with this year. And last but not least, Thank you to all our business members. We appreciate the continued support of our loyal members and welcome the support of new members. It is what makes the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce so great. Most of you may know me, but for those who don't, I am third generation co-owner of Parity Shop and Save Supermarkets. Born and raised in Fort Kent, married, my high school sweetheart, and this is where we have raised our two boys. I love our town and surrounding towns, the spirit and commitment of our heart to be. A lot of amazing things happen in the greater Forkent area, and I am happy to be part of the future success of these communities. This past year has been a bit of a challenge for our chamber and our community businesses but I am excited to be moving forward together and getting back to holding our many successful events, possibly adding or maybe even changing up some events for the benefit of our business members. We as a chamber are here for our business community and I will strive to keep that going throughout my term as president. I am looking forward to this challenge and the opportunity to represent our business community. Thank you to all who have taken time to join us virtually at our 73rd annual meeting. At this time, I would like to present Darnell with the 2020 Outgoing President's Award. The award reads, 
2020 Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce 2019 and 2020 President. In appreciation of your dedication, leadership, and loyalty to the Greater Fort Kent Area. Leonard Darnell Oliver, you have been an inspiration to the Chamber and to your fellow board members. Your distinguished service is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Darnell, for your leadership the past two years and congratulations on the job well done. Next up will be Connie Ouellette to present this year's Chamber Awards. The first award this evening is the Heritage Award. Author B.J. Neblett once wrote, We are the sum total of our experiences. Those experiences, be they positive or negative, make us the person we are at any given point in our lives. And like a flowing river, those same experiences and those yet to come continue to influence and reshape the person we are and the person we become. The same can be said of any given community that has residents who have been around for several generations, as is the case with any community within the greater Fort Kent area. The experiences of our past have influenced and defined who we are today and throughout the years. We have been fortunate to have residents who volunteer to be the keepers of our stories and experiences. The Fort Kent Historical Society is one of these institutions that has done tremendous work in keeping our stories alive. Their museums, steeped in history and rich in photographs, art and artifacts, and with knowledgeable people to tell our stories. Not only do they help us to reminisce in the good old days, but remind us of how far we've come and what we've accomplished over the years and what has made us who we are today. They also provide pieces of puzzles for historical researchers seeking answers, not only to American, but Canadian history as well. They provide answers to family members who are seeking information about their ancestors and give our youth a sense of pride and community, showing what we have been capable of to get to where we are today. For all of this and more, we award the Fort Kent Historical Society with the Heritage Award. And the award reads, 2020 Heritage Award, the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce recognizes the Fort Kent Historical Society for your long-standing presence, valuable resources, and contribution to our communities. Thank you and congratulations. Our next award this evening is the Community Betterment Award. This business joined our community in August 2016 and has added local shopping access to many of our necessary items that we use daily. In our rural community and in the age of online shopping, it is very rare to be able to go to a local store and get the simple items like hats, mittens, and boots on the days where winter comes early and we are just not prepared. Along with all the high quality name brand clothing and accessories that they sell, they also offer the service of computer and cell phone repair. This family owned business recently expanded and moved to their new spacious location, allowing for more room and more great items available to us. Not only do they have multiple products to choose from, including several popular brands of clothing and shoes at affordable prices, but their store is often described as clean and friendly. They also provide great customer service. We would like to send a huge congratulations to Tech and Trends for bettering our community and providing our greater Fort Kent area access to local quality shopping and service. And the award reads, 2020 Community Betterment Award. The Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce recognizes Tech and Trends for your drive and determination in expanding your business for the betterment of our communities. Our next award this evening is a hospitality award. Lodging facilities in Northern Maine are generally widely known for their cleanliness and accommodating friendly customer service. Travelers from far and wide who come to visit the area 
learn quickly that they will be well taken care of when staying in one of their motels, cabins, camps, and rental properties. This next award winner not only meets these criteria, but takes these qualities to an even higher level. From its inception, the mission of this lodging business has been to provide their customers with a unique, relaxing, and exceptional vacation. Not only will this experience make them want to come back year after year, but will leave their customers with very fond memories of their stay in the St. John Valley. Leaving to go home back, leaving to go back home knowing, as we who live here already know, how amazing living in the St. John Valley can be, and sharing that vision of the area with others who will hopefully want to experience the same as well. Your best marketing strategy is word of mouth, and this strategy has worked very well for their business and the St. John Valley. It's all the little things that this business does that makes their customers feel special. For example, every group that rents a cottage for whatever reason has a welcome bag waiting for them upon arrival, which is personalized to their stay. With the arrival of COVID-19, emergency kits have been added as well for the lodgers with disinfectant wipes, masks, Lysol, and hand sanitizers. Their focus is to make your stay with them as stress-free and as relaxing as it can be. Referrals to whatever local services you may think of are common practice, and even suggestions to activities you may not have thought of, anything to make your stay complete. As part of their philosophy, they also work closely with other businesses in the local area to make sure visitors have that exceptional experience, even helping to make referrals to other lodging local lodging facilities when they can't meet the needs of the person looking for accommodations, often because they do not have the occupancy available, or partnering with other local businesses for outdoor sporting rentals, guide services, specialty foods, sightseeing, whatever the customer's looking for. They ha even have event tent rentals for large outdoor gatherings. Diane and Steve Barry make sure their customers have what they need to make their stay as enjoyable as possible. That is why they continue to remain mostly booked for all seasons into the next year and have grown from three cottages in 2015 to six cottages and managed four other rental properties on Long Lake and Cross Lake. That is also why we would like to award all seasons lakeside cottages with this hospitality award. And the award reads, 2020 Hospitality Award. The Greater Fork Kent Area Chamber of Commerce recognizes all season lakeside cottages for your determination and drive to provide valuable and exceptional hospitality services to our communities. Our next award this evening is the Small Business Award. This member always wanted to own a little shop of some sort since she was a kid. When she found out the little ice cream shop in Allagash was being sold she knew she wanted to jump at the opportunity for her community. They loved having the ice cream shop so close and she didn't want the community to lose that. She wanted to expand it into a coffee shop as well. And from there, it just grew into a little grab and go of all sorts. She had planned on it being just a hobby for herself, but the community took so well to it, she ended up having to hire a full staff to help operate the hours and the busy times. For the future, I believe she is, going, she is hoping to find new ways to expand her menu and give more quick options for people. She has been working on better ideas for the snowmobilers during the winter, and she's also going to have a nice warm-up hut that they can have a snack on their trails. And they, she's also working on finding ways fun ways to bring more people up to the Allagash with events and activities. It gives me great pleasure to award this year's Small Business Award to the Jake Break. Congratulations. The award reads, 2020 Small Business Award. The Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce recognizes the Jake Break Snack Bar for providing a valuable addition and unique service to our communities. Our final award of the evening 
is Member of the Year. The greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. A quote from Coretta Scott King. Much truth is in that very phrase, especially when I think of this deserving member, a member with valuable contribution to the community. I want to express our appreciation and how grateful for the energy, enthusiasm and selflessness this organization gives to all. This award is going to an organization member that is dedicated to serving the community. They raise funds through selfless volunteering and ensuring all proceeds directly go back into the community and surrounding areas for education, scholarships, community betterment projects, and vision care. They are giving individuals who continually strive to make positive changes and strengthen the ties within the community. This organization's motto is, we serve, which is proudly instilled in all of its members. This organization is one of the largest active organizations and is currently made up of over 90 individuals, ranging in ages of 25 to 80 and it's continually growing. They have raised thousands of funds through biennial, biennial pride of the Lion Show, member calendar sales, who could forget those calendars, as well as many other local fundraisers. Every year they are responsible for installing the Christmas lights in town during the holidays, the lighting of the Christmas tree, purchasing eyeglasses for someone in need, or aiding a student on their way to higher education. One of their finest accomplishments is the construction of the pavilion in Riverside Park. I am honored tonight to be presenting the 2020 Member of the Year Award to an organization that has been volunteering and serving this community for the past 80 years. Congratulations to all present, past, and future members involved with the Fort Kent Lions Club as you are the 2020 Member of the Year recipients. The award reads, 2020 Member of the Year, the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce recognizes the Fort Kent Lions Club for your steadfast, unwavering support and commitment to our communities. Thank you and congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. George Dumas to bestow the highest honor given annually to one of our citizens, the 2020 Citizen of the Year Award. Thank you, Connie, and hello, everyone. Wow, this method of presenting will certainly go down in history. I know we all really look forward to and enjoy the annual chamber dinner, and it must feel strange that you're attending this year's event while sitting on your couch or your favorite recliner. The annual dinner event almost always falls on the coldest evening of the new year and in many years held during a snowstorm. Obviously, we're not worried about that this year. So now for the grand finale, the moment many of you look forward to every year. As a past recipient of this noble distinction, it's truly an honor for me to announce this year's Citizen of the Year recipient. Each year, the subcommittee invites the public to submit nominees who have been most significant in contributing to the growth and development of the towns that are served by the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce. Other criteria include a person who is at least 45 years of age, has, been an, uh, has made an important impact on the lives of the area people, and has demonstrated continuous service in a variety of service levels and has not received any personal monetary gain from their efforts. Our committee, which is made up of past recipients of the award, then meets and selects the person who best fits the criteria. On your screen is a list of previous recipients of the award. And as you could see, as indicated by an asterisk, Many of the past honorees are no longer with us. 
Sadly, this year, we have lost two of these distinguished members. The 1991 recipient, Dr. Paul Johnson, and the 1996 recipi recipient, my dad, Mr. Claude Dumont. Tonight, we will officially add a new member to the roll call. As we've done in the past, it's always fun for me to give you clues to who has been chosen and keep you guessing till the end. This is sometimes awful hard to do because, as is always the case, the recipient has been so involved in their community. This year, because of the pandemic and because of the timing of the event, we've decided we would do a Zoom chat with the recipient of the award. Following this video is a separate video. The recipient has no idea they're receiving the award, only that I need to help crit uh, critique my presentation. We have purposely grayed out the identity of the person and will introduce her or him when we start seeing the reaction of them having the feeling of, wait, what? That sounds like me. So enjoy the suspense and don't forget to extend your congratulations to your 2021 Citizen of the Year through social media. This year's Citizen of the Year is known by many of you because of the lifelong dedication to the many communities served by the Chamber and by this person's leadership qualities in projects large and small. These important projects were thoroughly planned, carefully executed, and successfully completed. The important qualities this person has of giving back started many years ago as a cham chamber board member and the go-to planner for the many festivals the chamber sponsored. Years ago, the Fort Kent JCs was an extremely active civic organization, which was a starting point for many men and women who went on to become perennial community leaders this person was indeed one of them serving as a chairperson for many years for their Fort Kent Junior Miss Pageant and the popular well-known JC Chicken Barbecues. This person marked distinguished positions and not only local officer posts, but also state JC officer titles and was recognized with the most honorable JC designation of international senator. Now many would know this person's work with Lonesome Pine Trails. This person served in many capacities such as board treasurer and president. Many years ago, our local ski facility had to make a big financial commitment to purchase a tea bar if they wanted to stay open and grow. We were lucky that we had this person's financial expertise to ensure that the decision to move forward was the right one. The T Bar Committee work for uh, the T Bar Committee's work forever changed the skiing experience, and the adults and children still enjoy this today. The University of Maine of Fort Kent is another organization that has benefited from this person's tenure on the UMFK Foundation Board and the University's Building and Grounds Committee. This person was involved in putting together the campus's 10-year master plan and the planning of the enrollment and advancement center that is being built right now. This year's Citizen of the Year has played a steadfast role in keeping an important resource open in our community. This person may be the single most important reason why the Fort Kent Library is still open and viable in our community today. His final hurrah before completing 26 years of service was the was uh, with this organization was a remarkable, remarkably successful capital campaign to raise funds to repair the building that houses the library. The same building that housed the 2004 Biathlon World Cup souvenir store of which this person was responsible for all the event merchandising inventory. During the 2011 International Biathlon World Cup, he took on the huge undertaking of coordinating all the musical entertainment throughout the multiple venues in the downtown area. This person is no stranger to you as he has played pivotal roles and is still involved in the Fort Kent Lions minstrel shows, the annual golf ball drop, and the many, many other community club projects too numerous to name. 
One of the largest projects ever taken on by the Fort Kent Lions Club was the Riverside Park Pavilion Project. It is safe to say he was likely the most involved member for this project from start to finish. Even to this day, you'll still see him putting up or taking down the side curtains for scheduled pavilion events. As you may remember, the Lions Pavilion was also the focal point for the largest event ever held there, the 2014 Bike Main Tour, where 450 cyclists from around the world converged for two days and nights at the park. Our citizen of the year was there, of course, taking on the difficult logistical job of Bike Village Coordinator. Yes, his ability to teach the next generation the importance of community involvement is such a significant contribution to those who worked alongside of him. It is a valuable lesson of learning through action. With this being said, I would like to announce to all of you the 2021 Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce Citizen of the Year, Mr. Stephen Gaino. Congratulations, Steph. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. So, um, all right. So I've made the announcement. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I have a plaque here for you, uh, and I will read the plaque to you. Uh, it says 2021 Fort Kent Greater Area Chamber of Commerce Citizen Award presented to Stefan Steph Gagne in recognition of the outstanding contribution of time, talent, and effort for the welfare of our area communities. So Steph, as you can see here, uh, your family has joined you. They've been in the waiting room, kind of waiting for them to come in here. We uh, we still have Chuck kind of sideways there, so he may have to turn his phone <laughs> to get him uh, get him out here. So uh, little do you know that we're actually recording this, and it's going to be played at the annual chamber meeting here in a few weeks. And I think this is probably the part here or at the point where I would say, hey, do you want to say a few words there? And uh, I hate to put you on the spot, but... You're on. Well, uh, thank you very much, George. Um, yeah, I, I kind of figured it out uh, maybe uh, a fourth of the way through the presentation. Uh, <laughs> then I broke out. In, then I broke out into a sweat. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I do want to thank you very much, and uh, the, the committee that goes through this. Uh, motion every year of trying to decide who's going to be the citizen of the year. It's a really tough uh, decision. Um, I, you know, looking back at everything that I was involved in, uh, I, I don't think I'd want to change a thing. Um, it was all a learning process and it was my pleasure to give back to the community that I lived in, whether it was in Fort Kent or Soldier Pond or Eagle Lake or wherever I happen to be. But, um, you know, that being said, nothing happens without the rest of the community being involved. And there were so many people that kind of uh, either fell in line and followed, or maybe I was the one following, whatever the case. There's a lot of people in all of those communities that, that do so much to benefit St. John Valley and, and the Fort Kent area specifically. So I'm really proud to say that. Well, thanks, Steph. And again, congratulations. So um, now following me in the next video is our local state representatives in Augusta with an important acknowledgement. The main legislative sentiments uh, are significant expressions of the sense of the legislature. And they are a public declaration that honor a, a personal achievement. And, and so Steph, here is that presentation. Okay, welcome everyone, and I'm pleased to be with you, even though uh, I'm in Augusta sitting in the appropriations room, uh, but I'm pleased to be able to be a part of this. Uh, we, in the Maine legislature a number of years ago, created an ability to recognize people uh, who had done things in their community. And what we ended up creating was what is known as a legislative sentiment. And we've done one for 
for Steve, and I, I want to read it to you, uh, and you will have the original there as well. Be it known to all that we, the members of the Senate and House of Representatives, join in recognizing Stephen Gagne of the Eagle Lake, who's been named Citizen of the Year by the Greater Fort Kent Area Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Gagne's contribution to the Greater Fort Kent community include, but not limited to, his service on the Lonesome Pine Trail and de decades of service with the Fort Kent Lions Club and the Fort Kent Public Library. We extend our congratulations and best wishes and be it ordered that this official expression of sentiment be sent forthwith on behalf of the 130th legislature and the people of the state of Maine. This is dated the 21st day of January, 2021 at the state capitol in Augusta. It is signed by Troy uh, as president of Senate, myself as a member of the house representing Eagle Lake and the surrounding area, and then co-signed by the Speaker of the House and the Secretary of the Senate and Clerk of the House. So that's, that is what we do and we are pleased to do that on behalf of Stephanie because obviously he has been an amazing part of the community over the years. Uh, and what he does not mention, and we didn't mention here, but my understanding it's 25 years on the uh, Fort Kent Public Library Board. Now, from anyone's concession or comment or whatever. It's a long time uh, to be devoted to something that was so and is so worthwhile for the community. So Steve and the rest of the family, uh, we congratulate you and congratulate the family and you having received it. But I will say that if it didn't be for them, you would not have been able to do what you have done. So good luck to you and best wishes. Well, well, thank you, everyone. I certainly, uh, you know, very glad to be here today. Certainly not, uh, you know, normal times with COVID-19. And, you know, traditionally, uh, you know, I'd be very honored to, to be at, uh, you know, the Chamber event to honor the Citizens of the Year. Um, you know, obviously, um, I've talked about this before, but, um, you know, one of the really great aspects of being a state legislator is to be able to give these uh, sentiments out. You know, uh, as I've gotten older, uh, I've certainly appreciated the history of the state, uh, you know, a lot more. And, um, and, you know, like I said, what I like to talk about when I give one of these out is the fact that, you know, this goes into the archives for the state of Maine. It will be there forever, you know, years from now, uh, you know, people can, uh, access it and, and find out, you know, what great things that, you know, people have done. And so for Stefan uh, to receive the Citizen of the Year Award, like, you know, past winners, um, you know, I, I'm, you know, very honored to, to just be here tonight, to be part of it, to, uh, you know, give this award uh, virtually uh, to him, you know, but, uh, you know, you've done such a great job of being an advocate uh, for our area, you know, uh, working and make things better for people in the community and, and for me, I just couldn't, um, you know, say how much I appreciate that, uh, you know, very well-deserved award. You've certainly made our area a much better place throughout all of your work, all your efforts over the years. And um, like I said, I wish we could be there in person to uh, shake your hand and, and maybe raise a glass. But uh, congratulations. Really, like I said, well, well-deserved and uh, couldn't think of a better person to receive this. So congratulations, Stephanie. Thank you for joining us this evening. We would like to extend a special thank you to the annual dinner committee members, myself, Denise Coroville, Courtney Depre, Don Daigle, Susie Parody, and Don Associate for help planning this wonderful evening. Sue Tardy and the University of Maine at Fort Kent for the compilation of the annual report. Christina Boyer Photography for the photos in our annual booklet. Chaz Pelletier, Don Raymond, and WFKT for recording and producing this evening's program. A big thank you to our keynote speaker, Senator Susan Collins, Don, and the Board of Directors, and congratulations to all of tonight's award winners. If you would like to support the Chamber so we may continue with events like these, we have included a link on the screen for you to donate. As always, thank you for your support. Have a wonderful evening and stay safe. Good night.